This college football picks week one edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast brought to you by our Patreon. Score exclusive perks, content, and contests, including our NFL win totals contest with a thousand dollar prize. Join today at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Patreon. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is offering you a chance to win fifteen million dollars in prizes with Best Ball Mania Four. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for hundred percent deposit bonus up to two or up to a hundred dollars. We're also ready by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use code SGP. New customers can score two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly when they bet just five dollars on any college football bet. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SGP. What's up, guys? This is Carson Steele. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. I'm wearing the same shirt as earlier today for, mm. for a purpose. Yes. Grinding. Grinding. I, I someone I got a I got a message in the DM, Sean. Really? Alluding to the fact that we had not done enough of our preseason. Where's the NFC East divisional preview? <laughs> we got some divisional previews. They're Literally coming. put out Don't a worry. catalog of like sixty preview episodes. We got your four over the past couple previews. months. Yeah, these. My uh, wife's busting my ball. Why are you working harder in the summer than you do during football season? <laughs> We're here grinding out. Joining us here from the college football experience, Colby Dant, aka the Dantabase, aka Pick Dundee. Colby, how was your how was your week zero? You did go two and zero oh with your uh, locks. They're going to be feeling pretty good. Uh, chat's already saying uh, nice call <gasps> on UMass. <gasps> I tried to tell you guys the you portal. Did? You got to listen to the to the voices of the gods. You know when I go to sleep. You know it's which Jim, gods? Jim Thorpe and uh, what, what? you know Lombardi and those guys are talking to me. You know what, what I mean? What god is Patty C? Oh, no. <laughs> we're, we're not, more we a, are not more roommates. Of a Buddha. Believe it or not. Um, what do you mean you're not roommates? Don't don't ruin yeah, the illusion. On. The the RA is gonna get mad if you guys if you guys say you're not roommates. Jesus Christ! Yeah, we got a. Uh, I mean, there's a shit ton of great college football picks uh, going, or you know, college football games going on in week one. We've broken it up into two parts. Uh, we're taping this one Monday night. We're gonna hit the early games Thursday and Friday, and then Wednesday night, giving you the full Saturday slate, best games, best picks, everything uh, ready to go, and. We got some questions. The uh, college football bankroll challenge will be back. We will announce that on the uh, part two picks episode, but uh, that is coming. So uh, yeah, got a lot going on. Yeah, well, I, I like how people are asking about contests. That makes me feel good. But again, I, I will let's address this. Mm. So someone slid into the DMs, came at at me personally. Wow, at, came at me personally, suggesting we weren't working hard enough. <laughs> And now, put out a shit ton of episodes. Uh, yeah, now we're, I mean we're, we're literally going to be in here yeah, uh, no, fourteen. Well, that's about to say, I'm like, aren't we like all like I, close, anything, close to a divorce? If anything, we my mayor just <laughs> falling apart yeah. for your content, people. If anything, well, I mean that's 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 a, that's a good. I, I told my wife I was waking up early this this morning. She's like, I thought oh, you, no. I thought you were done with these previews. Oh, I was like, <laughs> almost. No, no, no. I have a countdown yeah. in the house, and it's a chalkboard. So I this was, I mean, this guy really pissed me off in the oh, uh, no. reviews. They gave us a one star saying too many ads. I like you guys, but not to suffer through constant ads. Well, you know what? You know who's not invited to the college football bankroll challenge? Yeah. You, sir. You know where we get those cash prizes from the ads we fucking read on the show. So if you don't want to part, if you don't want part of it, take your ass over to corporate gambling. Get your yeah. content from people who don't wear socks. They've never sweated out a uh, massive par preseason parlay mm -hmm. with a nice piece of dip in there. Go to oh, your man. You should have seen it. it was all over Sean's pants. <laughs> I did he ask. I did ask <laughs> producer Josh for a napkin for my dip. I, I I looked at Sean and I go, 
Josh is nice to have around, huh? <laughs> there are guys in the in the gambling content world who wear uh, pocket squares. You want? Is that who you want your content from? It's free, and they have fucking ads. What economic model are you working on? Where okay, yeah, no revenue generated, uh, but yeah, but yeah, give me yeah, work in uh, slave away in this office for hours upon hours, giving you the best goddamn content, slaying the preseason, getting you ready for the National Football League with. And okay, I guess it's coming out of my money. Yeah, so we read a couple ads. They're companies that we use. So shut the fuck up. And if that doesn't motivate you to get a five star review to counteract what? this dipshit's one star, I mean, <laughs> we are going to be talking about some teams with a lot of one stars. I love a good Eastern one star. Illinois, possibly yeah. a good uh, good transition to Eastern Illinois, Indiana State. Now, I was fired up. I'm going to get even more fired up. Not gonna apologize to the dipshit in the reviews, cause I want people to sign up over at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly. Not for that one dipshit. No bonus bets for him. Oh, I, I wah, wah. I heard about a product or service for content for free. Wah. DraftKings said mock the uh, in in bold letters. It says mock the audience. No. 99% of the audience is awesome. We just have to police the 1% of losers. Hey, I mean, we got a full slate in college football. I don't need to tell you guys. It's got to be awesome. Life's more fun when you're in on the action. Like, listen to this awesome show. Download the Jaff King Sportsbook app. Now use code SGP. Two customers can score $200 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on college football only on the Jaff King Sportsbook with code SGP. The crowd is yours. I know you feel like a king now. It's awesome. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambling. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state specific responsible gambling resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and de- deposit restrictions apply. Let's get to it. I like a good one. Star. Just I just put a Washington State helmet on the desk as a as Oops. a me- as a metaphor. Well, we, we stand with Oregon State. We stand with Washington State. And Just we stand like with one star reviews. The big <laughs> the Big Ten is corporate gambling. Can we get a Photoshop of the Big Ten style with oh. corporate gambling? We are working yeah. on our uh, Maybe alliance. some arrows through it. Alliance uh, t shirts. We also have DJ University t shirts uh dropping in the merch store, so check those out. Kind of well, like an old school college look. One of my one of my favorite things is like when I go look at the YouTube uh, college experience channel mm. and it, about once every like, I don't know, six months, I get a comment saying this guy's a fucking idiot, and it <laughs> makes me it makes well, my day. Kind of true. It See, makes my day. And also, yeah. just so just for their guy in the reviews, it, I mean, also if you do meet us in person, Sean will give you a nice in person read if you want it. Yeah, yeah. If you want it, if you're I into will. that kind of thing. If not. And fuck no off. one, no one, uh, no, fuck I, off. I won't listen to your <laughs> betting strategy. I won't listen to your fucking fantasy line. Yeah. I won't grade. I, your, won't, I won't grade your fantasy team. If you uh, have such a negative attitude, I won't allow you to come near Derek D Bettis in the chat saying Colby chill in the FCS games this oh, no. year. My sports book doesn't let me bet these games. What, what's your sports book? Well, yeah, I mean all these lines yeah. courtesy of a uh, DraftKings Sportsbook. again, promo yeah. code SGP. That's uh, it sounds like you're projecting. Yeah, he is a little fiery, but you don't want to hear about Eastern Illinois and Indiana Dude, State. It's a rivalry since 1901, baby. You know, uh, everyone everyone knows yeah. the guy in the office that ha- it has a problem with everything but never has a solution. Yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm maybe D Bettis is that guy. I know he's an <laughs> Eagles fan, so it would be right oh, on he's character. Right. He's awesome. Just w- always whining about problems, no solutions. Donovan McNabb, franchise quarterback. All right, let's talk Ooh. football. Oh, wow. Cole, talk about looking in the rear view, Ryan. We got rare breed Jalen Hurts. Oh, I, Col, Colby, I, 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 th- I think you missed it. But during draft day, I played the extended cut of Sean breaking down the Jalen Hurts draft pick. Oh, mm-hmm. ah. oh. Patreon sports, uh, Patreon dot com slash sports gambling podcast. Well, that will be an episode in the near future. Well, it's just it's a two minute clip, a sixty minute show. All right. Well. 3 p.m. I think this is the six. Did you play the six pack music? We gotta get this. <laughs> Come on, let's stretch this bit out to, to a decade. We're almost there. Colby Dan six pack his six <laughs> favorite games. This is one of my favorite. Games. <laughs> I know it was. All right, because so, God damn it, this because no one else has a you, handicap you on know, it except our show. You, a, a, Excuse me. Yeah, you I'm, know I'm fucking sick over here. You um, know it's. <laughs> 
I can't even yeah, fucking talk. Keep going. You this know is it's ginger. This ginger yeah, yeah, strong, yeah. Green. You, well, you should have thrown some. Yeah, anyway, I, I suggested <laughs> nose beers. Okay. Sean, do you want to yeah. sit in the other room? Eastern Illinois uh, heads to a beautiful place. Terra Terra Who? Oh, Indiana. Man. Terra Who? Terra. Whoa, Jesus! You're gonna Terry Hote. Terry Hote. Indiana State, the home of Larry Bird. Doesn't did he play tight end while he was there? He did right, right after he put his mom's uh, driveway uh, well, he foundation was a, in. He was a man, and uh, I, that he would have been a great tight end, just like LeBron. They're laying eleven points here. I I I go. I did a little research on this game. Not a lot of people talking about this game, Sean. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I yeah. Colby, walk me through why Indiana State is. You have the spread, Ryan, eleven point favorite over Eastern Illinois. Everything I find uh, I found about Indiana State is horrible. They're coming off a two and nine season. They only put up sixteen points per game. Uh, All, they almost beat a lot of teams last year. Yeah, and they what were starting a mean? freshman quarterback. Indiana State does lead in these contests, fifteen, eleven, and one against Eastern Illinois. It's actually bigger than that, but yes. What do you mean? The the site you went to because I've gone to it too. They've been playing since 1901, so it's a it's a lot longer than that. Um, trust your, me, your data is wrong. No, this is only the 27 times they've played in the season opener, Colby. Oh, okay. So okay, there yeah, you wow. go. that's part of my nugget. You okay, think you, he went deeper, and then you said not deep enough. Well, I he didn't said, hear the nugget oh, of saying season oh, opener. I would you clarify. Well, you know, yeah, you jumped down my throat there. Uh, Eastern Illinois, 22.3 oh points per game. I mean, I, I, why is Indiana State favored by 11? It's I because they're Cade at, Chambers, baby. Okay, I get there at home, but 11 points sounds crazy. Uh, he was a freshman quarterback of the year, and they bring back Justin Dinka at the running back spot. I think that's probably why. But I'm with you. It's a rivalry game. You throw out the record books. Yeah, we're taking the uh, he, yeah, Tony Romo's alma mater. I think you ride with uh, what? What last year? Their coach Wilkerson was in his first year. He bounces back year two. <sighs> they get a little bit better. They brought in a Georgetown transfer at the quarterback spot. So did I go. read it correctly? Did Indiana State choose to not play football that spring? Yep, you yep. did read gotta, that correctly. I gotta fade that. But that doesn't sound like Larry Bird. They they quit football, Sean. They yeah. took they took a season off voluntarily. Yeah, we didn't. We we gave you guys. Madison. I'm just saying. So we ha- unfortunately we have to take the alma mater of Tony Romo here and Jimmy Garoppolo, by the way. Mm. Yeah, I stand with Jimmy G. Give me right. Eastern Illinois Let's plus go. 11 points. Like, what do we stamp yeah. it? To get, what are we talking? Give about? the Discord a pick. By the way, Discord two and three last week. The record and if you are in the sheets. Uh, the records page finally is is updated, so uh, it's beautiful. It's got colors. Uh, have at it. 4 p.m. on the West Coast. Atlanta, Georgia plays host to Rhode Island, and Georgia State. Georgia State laying 16 points. This was another puzzling game. Just drawing, trying to draw the uh, audience in with these riveting matchups. I mean, this is a very good matchup. You, you got Thursday night. I mean, Prime Georgia State. Time. Sean Elliott's coaching for his career. You know, he's going to get fired if they don't have a bowl season this year. Lamar Odom going to be playing tight end out here. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> he's I, up to some I, stuff see, lately. Yeah. I love the uh, Rhode Island Rams here catching this many points. I mean, Georgia State's defense—they let up 31 points per game. Like they're not a good defense, and the 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 Rhode Island Rams—they brought in uh, Maryland quarterback Kasim Hill. Uh, they brought seventh in- season. Yeah. Seventh season. I mean, yeah. you love that experience at a super small school like Rhode Island. I mean, that's going to make a difference. Uh, we got linebacker Evan Stewart for Rhode Island, pretty legit pass rusher, one of the best in the FCS, and you know, and the Rams. Can I also throw something? Georgia out there? State. Oh, uh, just anecdotal. Yeah. Have we seen any blowouts in the FCS? What do you mean, like when they? Play I, the I just FCS? feel like the couple games that popped on in the sports book. Well, at, South at Carolina State was. Oh, you're right. That. They got their yeah. ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, but but North Alabama. I mean, yeah. Mercer would. How about North life. Alabama, man? They almost they almost won that thing. Unfortunately, I was not unable to get down on any money line action. Yeah, I, again, let's. I, we're just taking dogs, right? You got to take Rhode Island. I mean, I, in particular, I, I like this Rhode Island setup because Do- I think they're bringing in experience. Georgia State, a bunch of turnovers, bunch of penalties. New slot. defensive coordinator, so you're going to be. At a practice there, Chad Staggs comes in as a defensive coordinator. What's the what is the deal with the travel budget for these FCS schools? Is this like a bus a bus trip? Are they staying at like uh, Howard Johnson's with a Denny's? At, or, yeah, or how, is, how, are the Ra- attached? how are the Rams getting to Atlanta? Unlimited breakfast. I mean, I would imagine uh, Greyhound, right? 
<laughs> All right. I don't know if they can afford uh, it. That worries me a little bit, but we'll, we'll uh, they will be stoked to have some. Uh, but Chick-fil-A. again, this is like you, you know you're coming. They wait. They're playing this at Mercedes Benz Stadium. No, no, this no, is no, at no. Center Park Stadium where the, <laughs> the on, Braves Sean. used to play. Sean. Well, you said Chick Fil A, and I thank have God that, they're not uh, playing it at that uh, filthy I, arena. I have that note for the Louisville Georgia Tech game. Oh yeah, game. that's a real football game. That this, will this be is, no, that's that's a horrible football game. <laughs> I, yeah. Some would some are wondering why we're talking about basketball games here. Anyway, so we agree three both times. Yeah, uh, Rams all full day. Full salute. All I, right. I, that's one of my. I mean, that one really jumped off the uh, sheet. No, neither one of these games jumped off the sheet. Really? Borderline shouldn't even count for the records. Oh my! Four God. p.m. Thursday night. We're heading to Orlando. Colby calls it the moon bounce. It is the moon bounce for the very the, golden UCF. The Kent's. Night. Well, this is a great golden matchup. Kent State golden flashes. UCF golden nights. Uh, big, big history with the UCF program. Colby national championships, uh, logo ripoffs, the whole nine. Big, big number here. You is that ac- an accurate number? Yes. B- uh, Jesus, UCF laying thirty-seven here. Uh, Kent State. I-, I think I can predict this because the little bit of prep I saw, I-, I saw a really, really just gaped portal hole mm. from Kent State. They they <laughs> got mean, her just com- destroyed in the por- Dion. You want to talk about the the school Dion affected the most? Yeah, he he robbed he bent a, Kent State over, <laughs> and he just he he went right in. No 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 uh, formalities, no pleasantries. Plumley's coming back. I mean, you know, I I I kind of compare this to how Navy. Like you you got to look at some of these teams how they show up week one. UCF destroyed South Carolina State last year, fifty six to ten. I I think we could see a similar situation here with Kent State. I mean, not only are they uh, you know, their program as a whole much shittier, but it's a much shittier thing. They're rebuilding. Like there's not even any sort of continuity. It's a complete scratch. It's a complete teardown. And you're it's, it's one of those things where you're, you know, you're demoing the house down to the studs and the studs are toothpicks. I, I Kent state is going to get destroyed. Now maybe they get a, you know, a backdoor something or other at the end, but I mean, Colby uh, UCF is going to run away with this, right? Uh, I'm all on board with that because you, you, Kenny Burns coming in, the new head coach of Kent State, Ken Burns. Let me tell you about the history it's Kenny, of baseball. It's Kenny uh, with uh, an I. It is, yeah. Um, a little it's a little weird. So you might get some Civil War stuff going on in the middle of the game. No, uh, but now, now maybe are you worried about? And it's on a Thursday, so they have a game oh. with Boise oh. State, Sean. Saturday, September 9th. Is there a possible look ahead uh, situation for no. UCF? No, Can this we is kick their off? first game ever in the Big Twelve. It's gonna be so it, lit, it, like yeah. lit, 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 this, lit, lit. I like laying the thirty-seven. I it mean, is funny. Kent yeah. State is welcoming them into the Big Twelve. Well, Kent State uh, also they used. I, they, I mean, I know they're not in the Big Twelve, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, it's funny their first game officially in the Big Twelve, thirty-seven point favorites <laughs> at home against Kent State. And they used to play in the same conference about 20 years ago. You want to talk about, uh, you know, evolution within the sport. Look at UCF. They were in the Mac in the early two thousands. Kent state actually leads the all time series. Oh, here we go. History lesson with Colby Dent. Uh, I just jotted it down in my, let's not forget this, but it kind of dawned on me as I was doing prep here, but the big 12, you can now have a double road soak spot on your schedule with an Orlando trip. And a BYU trip. Imagine having That's those back to get, back. They need to get into Idaho. Uh, there, I mean, honestly, they. I who saw it coming? The Big Twelve genius is going just hard after the the Mormon market. They're everywhere. Who needs TV <laughs> markets when you got the Mormons? I, I the Mormon just, support. It's genius. They 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 support and they, they have they numbers. Represent. They're they're like the ECU uh, <laughs> alumni. Oh, yeah, it was so it was so great. We ran into a guy uh, oh, hanging yes. out in uh, hanging out in Vegas, and um, he. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we told Colby about this. Yet, no, though. no, he's on a. Um, I think he's a part of a, a show as well. The, uh, the Fox Philly Gamblers. Uh, oh, nice! Yeah, those guys were cool at Fox Phil Gambler uh, for their show there, and he goes, "Yeah, you know, I'm really into college football, and actually, I'm a ECU alum." And like I love college football, I go, oh dude, drop everything, tune into the college experience. Colby Dan has you covered. Dude, I was like, he hey, literally, man. I go, he plays the fight song. And He's he, like, wait, and then, what? And, and then he, then he just started singing, singing it. it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, folks. That's why. Th- look, I mean, 
We're we're an SEC team that's too good for the SEC. Oh. I got a, I got a drink. Colby just said folks, so yeah. it's part of the yeah. drink. Folks, yeah. Kramer, you're on UCF. Oh, right? absolutely. I think you know one of the things I wrote down last year is pay attention to quarterback, offensive coordinator continuity, quarterback returning continuity because we see so much movement now with the transfer portal. So I think UCF is a classic case of a team that has started fast before. They should start fast again, and like you said, gonna be lit at the moon bows. Ken State might be. I have. I'm gonna add them to the the. We're gonna put them on the fade watch list because they might be auto fade. No, the, I now, actually, actually, out of 133 teams that I previewed, I think they're the worst. That's what I mean. Easy, so, easy yeah. in the YouTube chat said, uh, you know, the the spread being 37, why not just look at the first half? Oh. DraftKings has the first half spread at 22 and a half. No, and, thank you. And Noah Beanick alerted me during my college show three hours ago that that line just jumped, and we had over 100 people in the chat. So I I, I like to think I'm responsible <laughs> for that. You're uh, moving the line over yeah, there. Kirk. Yeah, let's go. Hundred people. We get, once again, he's flexing. He's flexing. <laughs> But so, some re- of them, some of them are, are, are two timer here. He's right? re- he's reminding us, Sean, yeah. that he has people. I I forgot this call. Col- like, much Don, like the ECU fan Don base. Colby. Yeah, is that three straight picks for the Discord? Yeah, Un- unbelievable. Discord. All right, let's Discord have- has a pretty ugly parlay going right now. Let- Producer Josh is on the Kent State oh, Island. Heart. Oh, well, good luck, Josh. <laughs> good luck. You're you're still a little groggy from the trip. 4:30 on the West Coast. We're at a New Haven, Connecticut, which anyone who has made the trip from New Jersey to Rhode Island is well aware of New Haven. Beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, just it's it's no surprise that UConn gets all the top recruits. UConn here is catching 15. Our guy Jim Mora Jr. Yeah. back at it. NC State coming to town, laying 15 minus 750 on the money line. UConn plus 525 for one game. 46 and a half is the total. Listen, the I'm listening. Uh, you know where we're uh, I'm big into the data. So you have a massive convergence opportunity here. NC State lost a lot of people money last year, four and eight ATS in the regular season. Yukon won a lot of people Ooh. money in the regular season last year, nine and three ATS. Oh, uh oh. Value look, gotta look at it. Is this is this a deflated number? The number last year, Sean, the spread in this game last year was thirty eight. Yeah. They didn't cover. They, well, they didn't cover, but UConn got their ass kicked by every Power Five they played. Not, 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 not true. They beat well, Boston College. Yep. They Boston, beat Boston College Boston thirteen College to three. Was trash. I mean, Still just saying. Five. Just saying. That's trash. I I was not considering Boston. College I, I, I mean, five. again, I'm high on NC State as a as a team overall. I I like I like Brennan Armstrong. You know, teaming up with Robert and I. I like them as a team, but. Two reasons I'm on uh, UConn. One, North Carolina State's looking ahead to Notre Dame. They're not going to take this UConn game seriously. UConn, you could argue they're at home. Jim Moore Jr. They got their, you know, they lost their quarterback like in the first half of last season of the first game. Still put together a respectable season. They're building something. They're putting together some culture. They got some dogs here, Dog. uh, a, a part of UConn, and I think they have some bulletin board material. And the fact that UNC State won 41-10 last year in North Carolina. Carolina. Now they get to play them at home where in North Carolina state, they've already won this game. They're already preparing for Notre Dame and they, they don't know about the Huskies. And look, you have, you hire the offense coordinator of Maine who brings in his guy, Joe Fagnano. Yeah. Careful Colby discussing the main you offense. You, you, you can't Fagnano. Uh, <laughs> it's Fagnano. No, Joe Fagnano <laughs> okay. is, is I'm telling you this guy He's really, he's really packing heat, man. He's gonna be. Oh he's my gonna god! Be, <laughs> a, are you sure it's not Fasciano? <laughs> he's gonna be firing that laser all over the field, man. I'm <laughs> taking, I'm taking the points, man. Look, I think UConn potentially live dog. Is he related to that linebacker that got cut? Uh, look, I, you're, I think you're wrong. I, you, come on, guys. The spread, you can't go from a 38 point spread to a 15 point spread. I mean, both teams have the same case, right? New offensive coordinator with the quarterback they know. No, but it's totally different. The, U- UConn's quarterback last year sucked. Like they they well, didn't they didn't have a great quarterback to begin with. He was good, and then they lost him. So they were playing with their backup quarterback freshman, on the yeah, road. Yeah, they started. Yeah, they were starting a freshman. Now they got to come up to the wrench where everyone gets twisted. Not going to happen. <laughs> okay. And see, road favor. What could go wrong in college? Thirty-eight football? minus fifteen. 
What's that? 23. That's a 23 point adjustment. Yeah. Is the quarterback worth that many points? The quarterback. Uh, how about go. year two of Jim Mora? Though? Year two of Jim Mora. NC State. They weren't looking ahead to Notre Dame last year. Jim Mora's a defensive coordinator too. How about a <laughs> month of prep? Yeah. <laughs> but there's Robert and I. Uh, good luck. Uh, I as much as I link NC State loves to choke. It's not. It's not right here. It's not right now. 5 p.m. Another again. Great. Great day of football, Sean. Thursday. Uh, all. I guess we're just watching college football. T- tough lives. Look at us here. Not working hard. Nebraska. <laughs> Heads to Minneapolis to take on Minnesota. Minnesota laying seven and a half plus or minus three ten on the money line, plus two fifty for the Corn Huskers. Forty three and a half is the total. Uh, I have a uh, I, I have in the note for the Corn Huskers. It just have we recovered from Scott Frost? <laughs> I mean, Scott Frost to me is like right up there with Nathaniel Hackett, where it, it was so bad and so many close games were lost because of like poor coaching decisions, bad clock management, special teams. I mean, I'd completely oh, the worst special teams I've ever seen. I life. had completely yeah. forgotten. Remember last year, and God bless them, because I was on Northwestern money line, but they were up and then decided to do a surprise onside kick up and two double scores it. in the second <laughs> half. What are you and doing? Put, him, put, him, put Northwestern like gave them great field position. Like, what are you doing? Unbelievable. I'm Sorry, I'm laughing over here because uh, D. Bettis is getting moderated by like the very loose mod that we have in the night Yeah, just... the uh, the auto chat bot is moderating D. Bettis <laughs> for some reason. What is he saying? So, Colby, what do you think about uh, what about the Gophers at oh. home laying seven and a half here against Nebraska? They're... I think you take I think you take the points as long as it's over a touchdown. Yeah, like, I mean you have to t- this. Gophers weren't great in the Big Ten. They were five and four. Great defense a year ago, though. I mean, t- this to me, I- I'm with you. I'm probably gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Nebraska here. But I think the way Nebraska doesn't cover it, if we if we see Jeff Sims capable of some uh, turnovers, yeah, yeah. So that would be the concern. Former uh, Georgia Tech quarterback, he's he's coming in here for Nebraska. So you know, 23 interceptions in three seasons, and you're playing at Georgia Tech. Those aren't great numbers. Nebraska decent secondary. I think they're gonna hang around. In this game, and again, Matt Rule, a lot of pressure to come out and like, oh, at I, the very least, keep it respectable, right? Well, I, I think this is the kind of stuff that Matt Rule is good at. Mm. I think he's. I mean, obviously, we saw it. Not you can't the rah rah stuff. Just the, the rah rah coaches fail the hardest at the NFL level. <laughs> yeah, and that's what Matt Rule is. And so yep. I, I think rah rah coaches love this kind of moment. So yeah, I, I think we're just gonna. Just keep dose mostly dosy doing down down the Nebraska's the Sims play. has got to make sure he takes care of the ball because put sure. the ball in the wrong spot they will make you pay. But I I'm with you guys yeah. I'm I'm not betting on this I'm not betting on PJ Fleck right now. No no I mean again kind of left a sour taste in my mouth down the stretch last year for whatever reason. Kind of like the under even though I know that, that number is really low. Yeah, that's like an NFL total here. This feels like a 24 uh, 20. Do we have a running clock uh, takeaway after one week? I didn't notice. I think we need a bigger. Uh, the only game I noticed it was like the USC San Jose State. Uh, also, too, I feel like just eye tests. And again, I had been drinking heavily, but <laughs> I, I feel like there was a lot of times with the first down where it was still kind of stopping for like a couple seconds, and even the clock operator's yeah, it, like, "Oh wait, shit, I gotta, I gotta turn yeah, it on." Like, yeah. I, I don't. Anyone well, who, that was uh, the guy in Dublin. I mean, he's honestly, probably yeah. fucking well, six <laughs> pints deep. Let's be honest; it, it didn't affect anything. Let's let's relax. Obviously, full weekend we'll have. I'm sure there'll be something will come up this weekend where people can complain. Do some advanced data, but uh, you know, at the end, who cares? It, we won't be talking about this in a couple of weeks. All right, we're all in Nebraska. Yeah. Jeez. All right, Florida. They're heading to the. Ooh, we got some a soak alert. Utes, Utes, Utes. Well, anytime someone goes from the swamp to soaking, bad things happen. Salt Lake City. Plays host Utah laying six and a half at home here. Wow, they're begging you to take the Utes. Minus we, we, get, we just got to call line. Utah the Joe Pesci's because <laughs> every time I think of Utes, I think hey, of him Utes. and my cousin Vinny describing uh, <laughs> the Utah Utes. Florida, a couple of Utes running around. The Gators uh, is this year two of Napier. Time's really flying. It is plus <clears throat> two fifteen on the money line. Forty five and a half is the total. So, so what's yeah, go ahead, Sean. Oh no! There, so there's a lot going on with this game. I mean, the spread has been bonkers. Where it it opened up at Utah minus ten, I think it got all the way down to four, and now it's back up to six and a half because they're really, 
closely guarding whether or not uh, Cam Rising is going to be starting and or playing. Um, so that's. It's, Do we have any intel, Colby? Uh, he was listed as a starter on their. Uh, you know, which means nothing, but uh, on they their put sheet, him there on yeah. the depth chart. Yeah, I mean, I think to me, I think it, it's weird. I'm like not super high on Utah for the entire season because I do think he's going to come back too early. But in this game in particular, I'm taking I'm taking Utah minus six and a half because they're just so good at home. What was ATS? The, what was the injury? ACL. Uh, ACL. And when was it? January first. What's the rule, guys? It's the Deer King rule. No, but again, I'm not I, when I'm when I'm betting on Utah at home in Utah. I'm not betting on the quarterback. I'm betting mm. on the, the secret elevation. I'm betting the fact that Florida uh, beat them last year in a game they Utah probably should have won. They got revenge on their mind. It's going to be as lit as it gets in Utah. The near That's beer the real is going to me. be flowing. It's like you got Graham Mertz going into a place. Graham Mertz on the road. No, thank you. They've won 19 straight at uh, Rice Eccles. And yeah. honestly, if you go back like. The their last loss was during the COVID year where they didn't have their fans. So you have to go back with fans. They haven't lost a game in five years there. So uh, I, I, I got to take Utah here. If it was more than a touchdown, I would say, I would say, let me take the Gators, but where it's at right now, I think you got to take Utah. Can I blow your guys mind? It's going to be like nine. It's going to be, it's humid and in the nineties on Thursday in Utah. Yeah. It's fine. Elevation, that's, buddy. That's Gator, Florida. Florida is really, Florida really struggled yeah. with the Pac-12 last year too. They lost thirty to three to Oregon State. I think. So Utah, do you, do I think like Utah's it, gonna fuck. Do you him like up. it better if he doesn't play or if no? He does play? No, no, no. He's got to play. But that's because there's their second string toward he their second strings out for the year. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like these guys come back too quick and they're just not useful. I, I, does to Florida me, have it, a good defense? I mean, not really. Okay. I mean, not. I would say okay. I, I'm yeah. I I feel like I'm not gonna fall for the trap. Give me Florida plus six and a half. <laughs> oh, I I think the quarterback matters, and I have a Dierra King rule. Here. What about the Graham Mertz? No, I understand though. Graham Mertz the bump, but he's healthy, and so, they might so just is that, is hand that a the good ball thing off. or a bad thing. I think hand you the want him to be injured, right? Hand the ball off. Yeah, I and I think you're gonna have trouble. Etn forty one and a half rushing yards over on underdog. I'm just gonna put that into a, a higher lower gimmick right now going over f- what, what I mean well Ryan yeah perfect uh, transition underdog fantasy the pick them the higher lower uh on the uh on the fantasy stuff there 41 and a half rushing yards Trevor ETN of course uh brother to Travis ETN you're you're smashing the higher on that one oh yeah I'm in okay. I need another play though what's what's the second I'm, play I'll tell you the second play give me lower on Graham Mertz no, 184 and a half passing yards the I don't hate will that. take care of. Them. I don't. I kind of don't hate that correlation. Oh, they're saying I can't do it. It's correlated. Oh, because it's in the same game. Yeah. Well, again, uh, plenty of opportunities. I know Colby on the college experience. They're going to be uh, breaking down, giving a ton of uh, fantasy plays over on Underdog Fantasy. Get in on the pick. Do Fagnano. Do it. <laughs> it's one fifty-seven and a half passing yards against NC State. Take it. That seems low. NC yeah. State secondary is really good. Take the over on that. Oh, Brennan Armstrong. That's the play. Brennan Armstrong been oh. all over that. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. Get the hundred percent deposit bonus. Promo code SGPN. And again, check out uh Colby's uh fantasy episode. They're gonna be covering some of their favorite higher lowers with underdog fantasy and best ball mania four. You still got a chance to get in over there. And I think we're going to do two episodes this week because of how many weekday games and then how many Saturday, Sunday, Monday games. Sounds like a guy who's phoning in, not giving it all for content. Why aren't you working hard? He's ungrateful. I'm going to, yeah, this, this game, (laughs) I'll be honest, uh, (laughs) hard one to hard one to handicap Kramer. What do we look at? Uh, I, I stole, I stole Florida right from the discord's hands. I know they wanted that one. They like the chomp chomp chomp. All right. 7 PM. We've moved to night football on Thursday. Oh, Tem- this is so awesome. In, in beautiful Tempe, Arizona. We, Sean and I were there uh, last uh, for the last super bowl, Arizona state laying 30, the sun devils against the S- Southern Utah, a little interest. I mean, what is Southern Utah going down to the devils for? It, that, I mean, this this feels all wrong. I'm not messing with no. Why are we Why are we picking this game? It's 30. Well, here, here's what's interesting about Arizona State. One, they just found out they're not going to be going to a bowl game. So obviously, 
a bunch of the guys just found out. Well, yeah, because they just had the self-imposed ban. The I mean, the Herm Edwards shit is wild. Like, shouldn't it balance out? Because I, to me, the fact that they were leaking the playbook against teams they played, I think that should be their yeah. punishment. Yeah, they don't need to add like. Also, like, who are you punishing by not letting these? Kids go to the Liberty yeah, Bowl on. if they go. And six somehow and six. that athletic director doesn't get fired. It's yeah. Something incredible there. Uh, they are starting a uh, a true freshman, Jaden uh, Rashada, who Colby reminded me he was supposed to get thirteen million dollars at Miami for an NIL deal, and then I guess the check uh, no, never no, no, no. So wait, Florida or Florida? Florida outbid Miami, mm. but everyone was saying that wait, like the best players in college football don't make thirteen million. <laughs> But he's like, no, I'm I'm going to Florida for 13 mil, and then it turned out that Florida didn't have 13 mil, so he got none, and then he ends up. I don't know how it goes from 13 million to zero. You think there's some middle ground there? (laughs) Yeah, you would think, right? Or maybe he's like, look, if I don't get my 13 million dollars in a duffel bag over here, he's from Pittsburgh, California, and over here, right now, the real Pittsburgh, yeah, the real Pittsburgh. Then, uh, then I mean, what was he believing though? Thirteen million? Come on! Feels yeah. like maybe never, there was for some never throwing a touchdown pass before. Someone lied. Someone lost, lied. Lost in translation. Yeah. So Southern Utah, they bring back a lot of production on both sides of the ball. Justin Miller, baby. That's all I could really find on them. But uh, to me, this is just a a fate of Arizona State because Arizona State next week at home they got Oklahoma State. So I think. They're gonna beat Southern Utah, but I I don't know if they're gonna run it up. And I, I wouldn't be I surprised. Could, like, yeah, it could be tricky, right? Yeah, you got Jayden a veteran would, quarterback. Yeah, four or five back on the O line. Defense was pretty decent a year ago. You got a brand new head coach in Dillingham. The morale of players not really excited. No postseason now. No ex- no excitement. Vibe's going gotta be the, a little going low. Going with the freshman quarterback now. The only thing that could get a little crazy is you know you are in Tempe for Kenny Dillingham, who's from ASU, went to ASU. Right, I'm uh, sure the fake tits will be bouncing in the crowd, oh, Sean. Whoa, All right. But uh, Silicon Valley, they call it in Arizona State. <laughs> but I'm with you. Give me the points. I think this, I wouldn't be surprised. If this it's just was a game it's just a fate half. of Arizona State. I mean, I uh, how long can Southern Utah hang on? We'll find out. But I I don't think you can take l- a team lane thirty with this many. Questions. You know, Colby, when you said we had to do two part episode for week <laughs> one, I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff being crowbarred in here. I yeah. If you're, if you're watch, if you're I could have done better FCS matchups. I was looking out for you guys. Oh, wow. Uh, Dillingham, a city in Alaska. I, I Googled it uh, furiously there. And all I saw were grizzly bears and snow. Uh, give me Arizona. No, give me Southern Utah. Yeah, Arizona states. An, they you Ari- been to Zion. I have I've not been uh, to Zion for very long though, so I, I do need for to such a river connoisseur. Uh, Sean, I, I he agree. Has been calls himself yeah. a river Can we, connoisseur. I've never called myself a river you, connoisseur. You told oh. me that before. I've, I've never, never called, once called myself. A, no, look just look every every story he starts. Oh, and m- m- me and the family were on the river. Yeah, yeah, but he's never known as a riverboat gambler though. <laughs> no. no. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never taken even money. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, let's just circle back on that whenever needed. 3:30 p.m. on Friday, we uh, what real doozy here. We have a directional Michigan school hosting the Howard. factory, the Bison, Eastern Michigan, also laying 30. Uh, I'm sure Colby has some super secret notes over here. He's about to share with us. Yeah, Larry Scott's the head coach, not not the guy who spent 50 grand a night for the Pac-12. Oh man, um, yeah, he's what, back. What was he? Sp- that was Vegas, right? Yeah, 50 grand. A what night are you in Vegas? doing for 50 it, it, grand a night in Vegas? Oh, whatever you yeah. want. Oh. Yeah, I well I. Hanging, I was going to say, you, hanging, for, I, I, what I would be doing is just hanging out at the high limit blackjack let's, let's table at Circa. For five grand a night, you can have a pretty good time. Oh, yeah. So yeah. for 50 grand a night. Uh, it's weird. Eastern Michigan's a team. They're actually better, at least last year, on the road than at home. They were six and one on the road, nine and five at home. And you, you look at some of the opponents they played that they should have kicked their ass. They only beat Eastern Kentucky by eight points last year. Now, Again, Howard not good. That's why they're getting but, thirty but points. But Howard, uh, I believe, in the past five years, did have the biggest college football money line play of all time. They were like forty-eight point dogs at UNLV, and they won. Mm. So no stranger uh, also, to being big dogs. Gus Johnson, Gus Dog. Johnson's alma mm-hmm. mater. So that that's always exciting. No, I think you got to take Howard because Eastern Michigan is breaking yes. out a brand new quarterback. FCS. Uh, Howard's uh, got a couple guys that I feel like are very experienced. Thirty-one is a big th- number. All right, Sean, we're doing an FCS parlay at the end. <laughs> we got four FCS no, dogs. On. What Let's do you mean? Go. What do you mean? No. 
If they let us, if they want that kind of heat, the hard workers. I was going to say Howard's going to leave the light on, but that's uh, oh, that's no. Motel Six. <laughs> Howard Johnson's slogan: no, Go Tom, happy, go hojo. It's Tom Bodette, yeah, buddy. Tom, Tom Bodette is the ah. guy who leaves the light on, which <laughs> uh, also kind of creepy. What's he doing in the room before? What's he get? What else he doing? He's Sounds like Harbaugh. Probably calling Tur- Joe, Joe Fagnano <laughs> over. So we're yeah, all, just the tip. It was just the tip. So we're all on Howard plus thirty. All on Howard plus thirty. Four p.m. on Friday. We have a. Tr- I mean, this was gift wrapped by the gods of scheduling. Miami of Ohio takes on the private school pussies of Miami, Florida. Seventeen oh, point favorites down in South Beach. Minus eight fifty on the money line. Five seventy five for the Red Hawks. Forty five is the total. I'll just give it. I'll give the mic to Colby. Tell tell Wait, me why. Do we have a clip? Do we have a clip for this? We might have a clip. We for might this. have a clip tell, for this. Tell, right? Oh, we have a clip for Look this. Look at this. Brett Gabbert, Blaine Gabbert's brother, starting quarterback oh, for Miami, Ohio. The, the real Miami you, player. Can, can, Coral Gables or here no, in Oxford? Oxford, Ohio. Because you're around longer, you're just No, I just think uh I think we'll we'll show them uh September first. Not the same question. That's not I'm a little, I'm a little worried. Colby. That's not very. Common. It's not, is that the most? Co- it, it looks I, better uh, on uh, quote. <laughs> yeah, it's written a quote form. Than, yeah, than uh, the confidence. Oh, although youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast, if you want to see an electric mullet uh, from uh, from I respect him. that mullets are in these days. Huh? We got a little bit of injury news, and I actually broke this to Colby in the uh, in the office. Tyler oh, wow. Van Dyke is uh, dealing with a banged up finger. My sources are saying either a thumb or an index finger. He injured it during practice. Uh, there's a 50 50 shot. He doesn't play. Wait, so wait, take on. the points hold all day. If he does, are you being serious right now? Yep. No, Ryan, why, why would I make up I'm such a just, weirdly I'm, specific? Why joke? would you tell me before you tell everyone else? <laughs> I'm good before the, I gotta get in it. I gotta get in on this. You know, the information plays always hit. Yes, exactly. Uh, again, to me, the Miami of Ohio, the only thing is that bulletin board material for the, the hurricanes. I don't know. No, no, that's not bullet. But to me, it's like Tyler Van Dyke. If he's dealing with this at all and impact his throwing motion, getting the snap underneath from center again, it's a, it's the first game of the season. It's easy to mess that thing up. And again, the same reason, uh, you know, why I'm looking to fade, uh, you know, NC state. I mean, Florida, um, or sorry, Miami has one. How many people are going to be at this game? Yeah, I don't know. This is one of Colby's greatest stances. And and Miami, dude, they're looking ahead to Texas A and M. Like Texas A and M is their biggest game of the year. Meanwhile, Miami of Ohio, you heard that. Well, not really confidence, but you heard how yeah. they're they're Miami of Ohio. This could be their biggest game. Obviously, if, if you get a win at Miami, Florida, I mean, not going to class, doing whatever you want. Yeah, Scat- and, and scattered ass all throughout. Mario Cristobal is a as a big favorite. Like, there's so many good reasons. Yeah, um, and that lines came down a little bit. I see, huh? Oh, I'm just I'm 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 upset. Uh, looking at uh, wanting a money line and for some reason that money line's My, off the board because maybe they have the same source. Miami of uh, Ohio defensively front seven, bringing back uh, I think the entire front seven led the MAC in scoring defense and run defense. So I I think at the very least they hang around in this game. Yeah, yeah, and we got some notes there from produ- from producer Josh. <laughs> yes, in the sheet, uh, Josh pointing out never lay double digit. Uh, fa- never lay double digits with the private school pussies oh. at Miami. That's a little uh, local knowledge. Right? And Miami, not exactly a school that starts fast generally. Well, not of late, at least. They, uh, I, the culture. I mean, it's it really just comes down to the the schools that were cheating the hardest are going to have the hardest time with the new rules. That that's my take. Mm. So yeah, because mm-hmm. they were getting a massive advantage that no one else had. I think some schools like the the cheating infrastructure was just translated into the school infrastructure <laughs> right away, like a lot of SEC schools. But I think Miami uh, paddling up upstream, as they say. Yeah, where I, I mean, I'm, of course I'm not. I'm never taking Miami. You know, what we used to sell the, the the scalpers would always sell shirts outside of Lane Stadium. F the U. Mm. Every year, mm. and you do the, a lot of this, like. Ah! Like you gotta God, break the U. The breaking God, the U God over help, your knee is like God badass. Help, God help any Miami fans that showed up in their fucking like polo shirts and their their khakis and their fucking boat shoes. The worst. 
You want to talk about the worst? Real Miami fans are the worst because they're 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 actually the people that you you're thinking about right now. The sockless people that we speak of, <laughs> the sockless freaks. Hey, uh, just a reminder: sign up for our Patreon. We appreciate it. Do your party in the war against corporate gambling. sportsgamblingpodcastcom slash Patreon. Get access to all the sheets that we uh, use for the podcast. Of course, our thousand dollar NFL win totals contest. sportsgamblingpodcastcom slash Patreon. Our weekly uh, pick 'em contest, and of course, the weekly pick 'em contest this week is going to be college football week one. We're going to be giving away a, uh, a a nice little cornhole board that you can use. For some uh, CFB tailgating, uh, sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash Patreon. Get in there, uh, toss us a bone, and uh, yeah, check out the bonus episode as well. Good times. Sean, are you, are you better at cornhole or a beer pong? I, ooh. ooh, that's a good question. Oh, I. Are, did you call it cornhole growing up? No. Yeah. What'd you call it? I don't even. I don't even bags. know if we had a bags. name. Yeah. But okay. I don't think I. I didn't play that much till I moved out here. I probably played that's more. That's true. Out here it was like everywhere. I feel like I, it was like occasionally on the East well, Coast. Yeah, Virginia Tech. It was yeah, hillbilly activity. You know, you can do okay. you know, a lot of a lot of. Di- I spent know. a lot of time in Virginia Tech, but get I don't the, remember get, that. But uh, you were down at Radford. Don't lie. <laughs> All right, Central Michigan, the Chippewas. They're uh, fire they're, up chips. They're he- they're heading the over. Chips. To, they're heading over to East Lansing to take on Michigan State. The Spartans laying fourteen and a half minus six fifty on the money line. Central Michigan plus four seventy forty seven is the total. Is it, I mean, is this the CMU Super Bowl? Feels like it. Uh, the the interesting thing though is it is not a look ahead spot for Michigan State. They have Richmond up next, so maybe maybe they get up for this game. I mean, Chips got whacked pretty bad in the portal, Colby. Yeah, uh, well, Michigan Thorne. State did too. Oh, you know, you mean yeah, yeah Michigan State did with Peyton Thorne and Keon Coleman leaving, uh, starting elsewhere. Uh, you know, I think it's. I think it's a little steep though for a guy, you know, with no starting experience really. I think Kim's played a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like to me, both quarterbacks are pretty unknown. I struggle. Chips, Chips I, have a decent defense. They were four and eight last year. Felt like they were in a bunch of the games. They do have Bert Emanuel Jr. on Central Michigan. I don't know. This one's tough. Like I feel I everything in my heart wants to take Central Michigan, especially because I have a Central Michigan shirt. But I feel like Card wise, I got a bunch of good dogs I already like, and maybe I'm forcing. Oh, it here. I like this. For, for, so yeah, I mean, you don't want to. They're baiting you with the hook, but each I'm, game. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels game, like. Yeah. And and Michigan oh, State. Very much. This is a this is a you know hey they might not blow out a bunch of teams, but week one in East, East Lansing they're about to run up the fucking score. So I actually am gonna zag here and take Michigan State laying fourteen and a half. I'll take Central Michigan in the points. Just the uncertainty with Michigan State's roster. Everyone, all their good players are pretty much gone on the offensive side of the ball. No, it might take them a while to figure it out. Yeah, I see that case. I don't know. This one's tough. I will say there is a decent amount of action on the on the Chippewas, which it makes the number even more. Public convenient. dogs got fleas. Give me Michigan State. Which which makes the the number even more puzzling. Again, I think the the overarching theme is. We really need to start questioning these betting splits. Who, who would benefit from putting out this kind of information to influence a betting community? So yeah, I'll use it when it's helpful for my case. Uh, otherwise, I won't be bringing it up. The <laughs> four thirty on the uh, Friday, Friday night football. High school teams must be pissed off. Louisville heads to the proper dome in Atlanta, where. Chick Fil A I mean, will be they sold. Re- they really shit the bed on this game. What do you mean they shit the bed? This Bobby is Dodd game. is one of the most classic fucking stadiums in America. Oh, you're saying they should be and playing it? They play it. it and they play it at this filthy. And this is Georgia Tech's call. This is, has nothing to do with the ACC uh, trying they're, to say. They're getting a paycheck, obviously. It's terrible. And, and we all know this is the Tech school with lower morals, and obviously they're showing it right here, taking the check. Not having the classic game in that little high school arena, you, you, they call you know, you know, a football stadium. There, you know, Louisville went out and hired Jeff Brom, right? Jeff, uh, Jeff Brom, yes. Jeff Brom, it, he, he's loved in Louisville. His dad's a high school coaching legend there. Louisville, like his family. So guess what? Louisville. But because you're gonna play this at the NFL stadium, Georgia Tech. They're You're gonna, gonna have it. more fucking Louisville fans yeah. there than Georgia Tech. Fans. Also, because no one like Georgia Tech has sucked for a long time now, so their fans have gone. Uh, they away. got rid of the triple option because they're horrible fans. Louisville laying seven and a half minus three twenty five on the money line. Georgia Tech plus two seventy. Forty nine is the total. 
Toby, what do you what do you make of Jack Plummer? Oh, I think he's fantastic, and I think he's re you know he's he's back you know one year at Cal. Son of Jake? No. <sighs> Uh, I asked that, and I was, I get this was previously time. at uh, at Purdue with Brom, so he knows the offense. Yeah, I I, I like Louisville yeah. here, and yeah, yeah. I guess you could grade it. It's supposed to be a home game for Georgia Tech, but to to Colby's point, uh, Louisville fans probably gonna even their the seats are Tech. fucking red because it's the Falcons. Oh yeah, because it's Falcons yeah. Yeah. and Chick Fil A's open. As we mentioned, before. isn't this the Thursday night kickoff classic, and then they do the sun, the Saturday kickoff? This is classic? Friday. It's not or, Friday. Sorry, yeah. don't. But they they have another game at the Chick Fil A Stadium this weekend, right? Uh, I don't is that, think so. This is it. Yeah. So this is the kickoff yeah. classic. Yeah. I mean, this is. Oh, so this is a true neutral site then. This ain't at home. You saying they moved a home game here? Yeah, Georgia Tech did. They could have played this at Bobby Dodd. That's that's why they're really just taking the check. Georgia Tech really has to look at themselves in the mirror. But I don't Again, understand. The worst you tech say school. you say taking the check. Like, do they? Why more else would, fans can come, yeah. so you get more money. But uh, I guess, yeah, I guess more I'm just trying to do the more, math. But like, yeah. wouldn't well, you're getting a big check from the sponsors on like the schools that play in that game get a check from whoever puts on. Okay, the, yeah, no, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it, it's like a bowl game. Doing the math, you're whatever the stadium charges you, it feels like if that thing's not filled, you'd almost be better off just doing it at your Bobby Dodd stadium. Well, how much? What well, what is the the size of of uh? What's the Mercedes, Mercedes Benz? Yeah. I mean, but is that a, to Bobby my point? Bobby Dodd's fifty five thousand. Yeah, it's, I it's, would imagine Mercedes Benz is probably like eighty or seventy five. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think no. double. There's like a hundred and fifty. No, I, I've been to that stadium. I, I'd, I'd guess seventy one thousand. But I'm saying, are you going to get seventy one thousand fans at Louisville this game? fans? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I think Louisville fans are super, super excited about the Jeff Brown era. All right. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't Lu know that this is going to be. Sh I yeah, think it's going to be a pro Louisville crowd. I think Louisville has a bigger fan base than than, sh than we're, you're giving them credit for. I I also think that Geor Georgia Tech will draw some fans in here too, but it's going to be mostly Louisville. And again, I, this is the official Chick Fil A. But kickoff Georgia classic. Tech can have like a uh, Bobby Dodd. Remember that Florida State Thursday night game? Like they have a good fan base in Atlanta. That's what I'm saying. They fucked it up. They fucked it up by doing this. You they'll, ruin they'll your make, home edge. They'll make it to the game, but I, I'm with you. I again, they're just a despicable university uh, behind their pearly gates. <laughs> Hate Georgia Tech. Stanford. Heads to Honolulu, 8 p.m. on the on Friday. This is this is great. Well, wait, Trump. Virginia Tech was a private school, though, right? What? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Just Did, trying you, to What do you know about it? land grant institutes? Nothing. Penn State, nothing. Well, Penn State's one. Okay. You should know a little bit. That that fucking creamery you love, built on government issued land. That quiz just knows? Like Virginia yeah. Tech. That yeah, that quiz knows you quiz learned knows how to be off a, campus. How to be an artiste. Stanford heads to Hawaii for some late night. Football, 8 p.m. on the West Coast. Stanford laying three and a half, minus 185 on the money line. Hawaii plus 155. 16 and a half is the total. Do we uh, have any updates on the playing situation down there on the island? At the Ching Complex? It's, yeah. it's bring your membership only. Yeah. But um, so they're still, <laughs> the, it's still playing at a high school stadium? Uh, they've added some seats to it. Oh, okay. So, but it, but they are still playing. Still, at yeah, too. yeah. XFL Vipers vibes is is what the yeah. stadium. Yeah, a little bit nicer. Better than, than a double A baseball yeah. stadium. Yeah, yeah probably equal. slightly. Yeah. Um, uh, Colby, I, Colby, what do you make of this? Because I think the uh, I was I was doing some research on the game. I think the line, like the look ahead line, was as high as like ten points. Originally, and then people saw Hawaii hang with Vanderbilt, and then they—I mean, Hawaii probably should have beat Vanderbilt. Bunch. Yeah, uh, you know, if there wasn't for a zero-yard punt and crazy, and they, and we they didn't even talk about the conditions. Return for a touchdown, and the the, the fact that their hotel was, room's got a fucking wrecking ball, and like right next to it, a jackhammer <laughs> going. Scoreboards uh, swinging yeah. oh, in the wind. This is the easiest game on the board. You think so? I, I think. Yeah, Stanford's I was really not, impressed. Stanford's not going to be tripped up by it now. Mm. Ooh. You're going so that's uh, we got an email I, that's this what I was, morning. That's what I was getting at. Like the line movement makes me think. Okay, Hawaii hung with that game. That was the first emotional game after the uh, Maui fires. They got up for it again. Plus seventeen and a half felt like easy money. They hung around in that game. Now they come back. Maybe Hawaii gets a little complacent and Stanford doesn't look passive. But I don't know. This is this is situationally. I could see it going either way. I, I'm actually gonna I, like I'm buying into what Timmy Chang is is building in Hawaii. Oh, me too, but they're not like good enough to be this Sta short. Stanford's breaking in a brand new head coach, man, and That's, quite a philosophical difference, I would say. Um, 
I'll take Hawaii to win it out. Right. Yeah. Well, and also this is, this is Hawaii's home opener. So I think that being the deciding factor, I'm going to go with the fighting bows at plus three and a half, but you could talk me into the idea of this being a letdown spot. It's a lot for of travel too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're going from Vanderbilt back to Hawaii. That's a, uh, I mean, that's what six time zones. And remember that game was delayed. So they got yeah. back a lot later than they thought, but and this yeah. is a short turnaround. It's Friday. I, I still just think, you know, there's an advantage of getting that week zero game in. I do. I don't disagree with that. I wanted to make sure that was a double negative. <laughs> I don't disagree with I'll that. I'll go point. Hawaii plus three and a half, but it's not, it's not going to make it in my locks. Kramer, right? what are you doing I here? certainly think if you're this new coach at Stanford and maybe if you needed something to get your team focused on a, you know, trip to the islands. Hey, they, they just should put. You know what Hawaii should do is put Stanford's locker or Stanford's <laughs> hotel in the part that just burnt down, where it's like they're they're building but it back up again. Isn't this one of those things? Do where what like Vandy if, did to if them. Stanford's offensive line and defensive line just plays, they'll eventually control the game, kind of. Thing. I don't know because they, right. they had everyone transfer out. Daquan the Great saying Hawaii wins home opener! Exclamation point! All right, I, look, I I like the islands. I, I I'm I'm a big fan of thick, island thick Tua. boy. Yeah, thick Tua is that's that's island boy, right? Yeah. I, Stanford lay the lay the points. I was making sure I took some dogs before I just recklessly. Who'd you go with in the Central Michigan game there? You didn't give me a pick. I didn't get it, Ryan. Well, of course, we we talked about it. The line was a trap. You Sparty, it's right? Mi- yeah, it's yeah. Michigan State. Okay. It, it's not the first time we've handicapped football together. A lot of these are just out of system plays. Three and a half, fourteen and a half. Set. What are they doing, Sean? They're trying to trap I these, know. these poor victims. It's Corporate poor gambling. Corporate cor- gambling's in on it. Just at their. It's We're like we're trying uh, to guide you. People. What you know? What we need. We heard the shamans. We need a picture of like a bunch of crab traps and like crabs trying to <laughs> negotiate through. That's what they're doing here with these. They're crab trapping you. A lot of crab traps out there. Money line back saying he's on the tree huggers laying three and a half. Oh wow. A lot of nature to go out there and enjoy. Stanford probably coming out there, private jets. Sure, Colby Certainly. Was, Colby was showing me a video of some uh some crazy cop running through some tree huggers. Oh, I saw yeah. that. It was uh these uh <laughs> It was in uh, Nevada, th- and they were on like tribal land. Yeah. So the tribal police oh, they set know. up like this. Uh, I don't know, whatever, some sort of protest where they had like a fence and something blocking the road, driving everyone crazy. It the like they built it at Michael's. Right yeah, yeah. If the tree huggers would study football, you got to know how to pick up a blitz. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah, That's yeah. an eight gap yeah. blitz by the uh, also, tribal police yeah. guy. You're gonna have that. Build a booby trap so the guy at least like destroys <laughs> his car. They they were <laughs> watching their reaction on their faces. They were not prepared for the. Have to just drive right well, through there. You, uh, Colby didn't tell me it was tribal. Place. I didn't. I, I, the, what I saw, didn't, I'll say didn't, this. didn't reveal that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, look, I, you know, I'll include the, uh, I'll include the video in the uh, episode post. Check I, it out. I like to be on, on high alert when I, I leave uh, United States soil at all time. Mexico, tribal lands. You just got to head on a swivel. All right. Kramer, lock dog tees and bonus lock. Dare I start with the dog? Cause I'm going to, you know, I w- might regret this and we might be adding fuck, uh, fuck the family of Gabbert, but give me the red Hawks on the money Woo-hoo. line plus five seventy five. Woo. Come on. What do we know about week one in the college football slate? There's always big fucking dogs that come home. Yes. Uh, I, I will lock up a couple games. I think Michigan state is going to just slaughter central Michigan. I, you know, state, if I know anything about Poor Mr. Chips. Mr. Tucker, He's a he's a statement game guy when the statement is available to him. Midnight and so Mel. I think I think the statement's available to him here and I think the other I I told myself I would not under any circumstances play a fucking ACC game. So I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to play an ACC game. I am going to take the points. Miami's in the ACC, buddy. Oh, but that's on faith. It's not an ACC. Okay. Game. I can't okay. I don't want to take okay. the ACC. Actually, fine. you know what? I I I need, let's just stay on Friday. Give me Stanford laying three and a half. That one's gonna seem easy after the fact. What's I'm your tease, co- Ryan? My tease. Well, as we know, college football teasers are all can't tease the FCS this week. I can't do it. Uh, give me. Oh, there's a lot of nasty stuff here. Louisville down to one and a half. I'm okay. also trying to not double dip. Give me UCF down to thirty one. <laughs> that's it's a fraud. comical tease. Yeah, that's, come on, that's great value. And give me 
NC State down to nine. I I'm just trying to put my mind in Kobe mode. What would Colby do here? He would just say UCF easy money. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Just mm-hmm. make it make the spread small. That's on my. All right, so yeah. that's it, right? Do we still yep. any round robin opportunities? We maybe we can talk about it as a unit at the end. All right, for me, uh, again Utah at home, they're awesome. Give me, uh, give me the 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 Pesci's, the Utes laying six and a half. Oof. I also you know, I almost locked up Florida. I didn't really because Graham. I can't lock up Graham Burtz, <laughs> so even though he's smart. Even though he trademarked his own name. Uh, for my dog, you know, give me give me Nebraska. Nebraska on the money line feels like a uh, fun spot here for them to make a debut. I'm j- cause I mean, Miami of Ohio, I like as well. That just, that number seems massive. All right. But I will, you know what? I'll toss in Miami of Ohio plus 17 is my other lock for my tease. I'll go Louisville minus one and a half. Feels like a great tease opportunity. That one's going to be danger. I'll also toss in uh, UConn up to twenty one, and then the uh, uh, Rainbow Warriors nine and a half. Can say, you know what? Rhode Island Rams twenty two, crossing a lot of key numbers. Do it. You want a fun fact about a Cornhusker? Sure. Nebraska, they were the originally they were the old Gold Knights. Hmm. Mm. Did you know that, Colby? Eighteen ninety. The old Gold Knights. All right. Here we go, Colby. What do you got? <laughs> uh, lock up Louisville minus seven and a half. Uh, I think they're going to put it on Georgia Tech. Uh, dog, let's go. What do we got here? What do we got here? There's some good dog. I mean, the FCS. Obviously, we're going to do a FCS uh, four dog money line parlay. Yeah. Oh, obviously. <laughs> uh, dog, I think we go. It's either going to be UConn or Hawaii here. Let's go Hawaii. Oh my goodness. You're going against my lot, Colby. Sorry, buddy. That's all right. Uh, One tease. Of us has to be wrong. Genius. Let's bring. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's go Utah down to a half. Oh, Colby's back. It's yes. a tease. It's a good tease. Let's take UCF down to thirty-one. Yes, <laughs> told you. I knew he would take the UCF. And one. let's go. Fuck yeah. Louisville down to one and a half. I know ball. Bonus luck. Is let's go with Utah. Oh, 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 you know, I was thinking of doing Utah and Louisville because I do like U- Louisville a lot, but I didn't want to go two favorites for my two locks. Producer Why Josh, not? it's early. Uh, all right, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna make Utah my other. Uh, oh, are we or, sorry, had... Louisville my other. Oh, uh, no, I'll keep it Miami. You can't late swap. Uh, producer Josh likes Miami of Ohio plus seventeen. Miami on the money oh, line no. plus seventy five. Seventy five. He doesn't know the rules. What's His he doing? tease is Louisville minus one and a half. Utah minus a half. Hawaii up to nine and a half. That's just sharp teasing. And his other lock is uh, Louisville uh, minus seven and a half. Do we like a money line round robin, gentlemen? Nebraska, we all agree, is a is a solid dog there. Uh, Southern Utah, Howard, no. I mean, Miami of Ohio. I mean, honestly, all we got to I think all we, we got to do is just Miami of Ohio, Nebraska. Little two that's, a, little that's a fun. What does that pay? That's going to be through the roof. I, why don't we? I mean, I I also I'm a fan of Louisville. We could we could add a spread in if we wanted. Uh, but I also, just if you go Miami of Ohio and Nebraska, yeah, that's yeah. like what's the let Let's just do a quick quick calculation. All right, what well, give me uh what five seventy five and what? Two fifty. Oh man, this is massive, massive. I mean, it's only a two tamer. I'm sorry, we're not working that hard for you. All right. Uh a hundred dollars would pay twenty two sixty two. Oh my god. All Let's right, go. that feels good. Let's right do now. it. End the show so I can get uh late night bets. I miss I miss college football. Hey, uh, DraftKings promo code SGP. Get that sweet, sweet college football bonus. Underdog fantasy. Get it on the college football uh, higher, lower. 
a a ton of great uh, opportunities over there. Promo code SGPN, hundred percent deposit bonus. Toss us a bone over the old Patreon. Get in the thousand dollar NFL win totals contest. And then we will be back talking college football on Wednesday night for part two, AKA the big games you care about on Saturday. Uh, Kramer and I will be back tomorrow, uh, rounding out some more division previews as our lazy asses continue. Saturday, to give you two Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That's right, because it's Labor Day. Yeah, buddy. And it's a uh, week one college football. We're going hard. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean. Second, the Money Green. He's Ryan. Oh, we're back. Kramer, let it ride.